Munich means by the monks and is named after the Benedictines who ran a monastery here. It's had a tumultuous history, but has recently been voted the world's most livable city. Munich is the capital of Bavaria, a region famous for its natural beauty, its beer, industry, and of course, hosting the Olympic Games in 1972. But today I have the enviable task of introducing you to this gem of Germany, all the way from the top of the Olympic Tower viewing platform, 190 meters above the city. Their motto is Munich loves you, and you do get that sense from the friendly service, especially if before leaving home, you've activated your standard bank check or credit card for travel abroad. This city was substantially rebuilt after the Second World War. It's a symbol of reinvention, and the Olympics were part of that. Hi, Mats. Hey, Joanne, nice to meet you. <laughs> Lovely to finally meet you. Now, tell me, why is the Olympia Park and the Turm, the, the actual tower, such a big tourist attraction? Yeah, you've already been up there. It's simply a good place to start your city trip to Munich. We offer a lot of different tours. You can walk around, you can do the Tour de Park, you can go through the Olympic Stadium, you can even climb up the tent roof of the old Olympic Stadium and reach the peaks. So there's lots on offer, but you can also just walk around and enjoy your free time. Now you told me that you've got something planned. Yeah, Is it I've a got something in mind. Okay. Come with me. Let's do. <laughs> The 1972 Summer Games were most famous for another kind of water sports, swimming. It was the year that American Mark Spitz won seven gold medals in the pool and set a new world record with each of the races he won. It would be 36 years until Michael Phelps beat him by winning eight golds. Mats, is there one reason in particular why you think that people who visit Germany should come to Munich? Um, of course, there is the beer, the Hofbräuhaus, as you might know, the beer garden. These are the very well-known sites in Munich, but there is also a lot more to see. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the Olympic Park, and um, you can just walk around the city. It's quite nice. It's a green city, so people don't only come for the beer to mm -hmm. Munich. There's a lot more to see, but you shouldn't miss the Bavarian meals. For a century, the Kaisergarten here in this Art Nouveau building has been a spiritual home to this Alpine-inspired cuisine. After working up quite an appetite, it's time for some Bavarian hospitality. Meat and flour-based dishes are big in Bavaria. Chef, good to finally meet you, and I'm excited to see what you're going to be making for us. So I will make today a uh, steak uh -huh. with uh, some bread dumplings. This are uh, typical uh, Bavarian thing. Breads, and I know these. These are usually what we eat with a beer, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Always everything with beer here. Okay, then we will make uh, some fresh porcini, mm -hmm. mushrooms. And this is a herbs crust. We will make it on top on the meat. So right now I will cut the spread at first. Mm -hmm. and this will be uh, the dumpling. Ah. So I put four eggs inside. Four sounds like a good number, chef. The next, I will cut this onions. Mm -hmm. Made it in here. Mm -hmm. Now I will do the milk on it. Mm -hmm. So that's just for the dumplings. The locals call them Schemmel Knödel, but they're easier eaten than pronounced. The mixture is rolled and wrapped, then simmered in salt water for 15 minutes. The Bavarians justifiably boast about their talent for preparing, curing or cooking meat, and you won't find better. At 0% interest on your standard bank credit card for the first three months, you may as well dine out every day here. And don't forget the ice cream influence from just south of the border in Italy. Forget the calories, dive in and live a little, or a lot. There are so many sides to this wonderful city of Munich that every time I come here, I feel that it's just a little taster. So I know I'll definitely be back. Preparing to travel abroad. If you're a standard bank customer, then with your app, you can now activate your check or credit card to be used wherever you're headed. Because transactions in some countries can be flagged as high risk, even when traveling there, your transactions won't be declined if you've used the banking app to select your travel dates, destination, and contact details while you're away. Bon voyage.